Hello and welcome to Angel Point YouTube channel. I am Vijay, a Microsoft MVP, and in this video, I am going to explain how we can use script editor web part in SharePoint Online 2013, 2016, or 2019 as well. So, we'll see first, we'll create a web part page, and then we'll see how we can add this script editor web part in the SharePoint Online sites or SharePoint. Same way, you can add it to SharePoint 2016 or 2019 sites. Remember, we will be able to add only into the SharePoint classic sites. In the modern sites, we will not be able to uh, add any script editor web part. We cannot do any kind of script injecting by using script or content editor web part. So, first of all, what is the script editor web part? Uh, in uh, before to SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint 2010 and other versions, uh, there was a content editor web part where, which we can use to inject script into the page. Either you can refer it uh, through an external file, which you can upload to site asset or somewhere, and then you can uh, upload into the, you can give the reference in the content editor web part. But then in SharePoint 2013, script editor, Microsoft introduced script editor where you can inject your, where you can put your HTML and your scripts in that page, in that uh, web part, edi uh, script editor web part, and then finally you can add that in that page. So first what we'll do is I'll open my SharePoint uh, site and then I will add, uh, uh, I'll create a web part page. So you can see here, this is my home page. I'll go to view all pages. In the view all pages, I'll add a web part there so if you will see um, I'll create file then new and then this is the web part page so click on that then we will be able to add the web part page there so first what I'll do is I will uh, I will add uh, I'll give a name for that suppose I'll say script editor demo and uh, I will choose this header, footer and three column layout. You can choose the, uh, there are different layouts are there. You can choose, but I'll choose this header, footer and three column layout. And then where we want to store, we want to store this on um, site pages, we'll store it and uh, then um, click on create. So once you click on create, it will create a web part page. So in that web part page, we'll see how we can add the script editor web part. So this is the page which we have created. It is opening on the edit mode. Click on this add a web part link on any of the web part zone. You can add it. I'm just adding in the header zone. So once you add, once you click on that, so it will open your web part categories. So you can see here, this is our web part categories under media and content. You can see script editor is there. So click on add. And uh, now your script editor web part will be added to this header zone. So now if you'll see here, this is our script editor web part added. And uh, without going to that properties, you can just click on edit snippet and it will come up with a, um, a screen where you will be able to add your, or uh, will, you'll be able to add your HTML and uh, your uh, uh, script code as well. So as I said, you know, uh, we can, uh, uh, write your HTML tag also. Suppose I'll write one HTML tag which will start with an H2 tag. So I'll put that in tag and then here I'll write uh, let's say uh, script editor web part demo. And after that, what I'll do is I'll just uh, take a button and on click of that button, we will uh, try to sh display our uh, alert box on that. So if you'll see here, this is whatever the HTML things will be there. It will, uh, you can, you will be able to see it here. Now I'll take a button. So I'll take that button and I'll say on click. And in that on click, I'll call a function. So I'll call it suppose this is my function and I'll do the close bracket and I'll have this tag I'll put the end button tag and we'll give a text message here suppose I'll say click here so now if you'll see here the uh, this the, the button is appearing over here in this page you can see it now we'll write our function which is uh, your my uh, function this is our function name so i'll write in inside a script tag so i'll put a script tag first of all and i'll end the script tag within that i'll uh, i'll uh, declare my function so i'll say function and then this is our my function i'll put this 
this brackets and then I'll put an alert here. So alert. I'll put a message suppose you clicked on the button. So this is our code. Uh, so we can uh, put the semicolon then insert this. So we'll click on insert and then it will um, save that. So now I'll stop editing the page. So we can see here this is our page and I'll click on that and you can see here it is displaying the message so this way you will be able to add script inject script into that a lot of time what happened is uh, if you do not see this script editor web part in the um, edit page so when you will add your web part if you do not see that then uh, you just go to your admin center sharepoint admin center and in that admin center we need to enable that uh, um, uh, you know uh, um custom script which we are adding there we need to enable that so let me just open my sharepoint admin center you can also directly access your tenant name hyphen admin url and then if you'll see here there will be a settings is there in the left side you can see uh, in the left side in the settings if you'll go down you'll see a custom script over there so if you'll come down you can see this custom uh, script section section so you can make allow user to run the script so both the things you can uh, uh, do that uh, both the things and once it is done then um, you know it will take if, if it is um, by default it will be in prevent uh, uh, prevent will be selected so you uh, allow both the things and click on ok so sometimes it take up to 24 hours to reflect that but usually you will get it in 3-4 hours and uh, the, web, uh, the web parts will be available on that so uh, you know hopefully you learn something on this script editor web part uh, which you can use in the same way you can use in SharePoint 2013, 2016 and 2019 as well but uh, you, are, you can use on the classic SharePoint sites not your modern SharePoint site. So if you really like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will get a lot of updates on a lot of video tutorials on various SharePoint related technologies and uh, have a nice day.